This entire planet is filled with dimensional rifts to a reality the twins call the Netherverse. Your upgraded spotlight uses irradiated particles to detect them. Irradiated particles? Is that safe? Oh, well, don't worry. I'm perfectly safe as long as I stand far, far away from your incredibly radioactive body. Well, that's concerning. Welcome to another, another episode of Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus. Let's get these boxes. I love boxes. Boxes that contain nice things. Use the spotlight to reveal the nether rift. Um. So this thing, right? No. And then what? Blow it up! I'm a little confused. Maybe I should have listened to the guy a little more. Ah, okay. Congratulations! You just crossed into a new reality! These dimensional rifts were created long ago by the explosion of the Great Clock. Now you can use them to cross into and out of each reality. Okay, enough exposition. Let's test out your new firmware. Wow, this is cool. Manipulate... Whoa! This is cool. I really like this. This reminds me of a uh, what's it called? VVV VVV. It's a very very weird puzzle game. Whoa. We're trying to like do it up and down to be careful. Okay, there we go. Whoa, who's that? Another one of the indigenous creatures of this reality. See if you can lead him back to the rift. Okay, so we gotta go all the way back? Okay. This is interesting. We haven't really seen something like this. You walk over there and smack him. But why? For science, of course. <laughs> For science! Um, but he's in a tiny little doghouse. Oh well, bah! Now we gotta run. What scientific purpose will that serve? None! I've been here six months. I'm bored. Well, this guy's silly. So, so, like I said, the comedy factor's definitely still there. Nice work, pal. The test is a success! You were born for interdimensional travel. So the Zarkov sector is not haunted. These ghosts are actually nethers. Those antennas we've been seeing around the city, think those have something to do with all this? Their rift begins. Vendra's personal design. I just saw her in the orphanage a few hours ago working on this uh, thing. Never mind. I would really like to know what the thing is, but I guess we have another rift to enter. This is cool. I'm enjoying this. Find a path to Miro in the orphanage. Okay. This can be a little tricky, especially when you're just sort of like... <laughs> I don't know, sort of hard to figure out what to do sometimes. It's like, it gets disorienting, is what I'm trying to say. I would like... No, 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 no. Can I pull it? Yes, I can pull it. Okay. That's good. Now I can pull it over here. Ha <laughs> ha! That's awesome. Oh, so I can... Oh, for a second I thought I was slowing down time, but looks like I'm... Wait, was I? What was holding L1 gonna do? <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't look like much. Alright then, well, now I just pull it over here and then pull it over there. Okay, cool. This is interesting, I actually haven't seen a puzzle game like this before. Or like a puzzle aspect like this. This is pretty creative. I'm enjoying this. Okay, let's give this guy a smacking. Okay, so when you're falling very far, you can hold L1 and he'll bring out his helicopter. Oh god. 
Where am I? Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Leave me alone, Mr. Nether. I'm a nice guy, really. Okay. Run over here. Gosh, this guy's scary. This is, like, tense when you have something like this chasing you. Whoa! He's going fast, too. <laughs> Good work, pal. Okay. So now we have a new path unlocked. Hmm. Very cool. I'm actually enjoying that a lot. I can't wait to do more of those. Who is that? What is that? Oh! It's a hookshot thing. Press and hold circle to attach a swingshot target. Swing using the L stick. The frog twins are past the orphanage. If you survive, you do me a favor. Tell the Polaris Defense Force I was merely building that contraption for educational purposes. And what if I don't? Are you gonna beat me up? Okay. Oh jeez. There we go. Hmm. That scenery, once again, just like to look off at the distance and see this amazing environment all around us. Okay, why don't we swing around then? Haha! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of these, uh, bolt cranks. I am curious. What kind of device do you think Pollux was helping them work on? Got me. That drift cracker he gave you only seems to work on robots. Maybe he was trying to figure out a way for everyone else to go in. Or come out. Hmm. That's a little... Whoa. What is that? That is very weird and large. An audio journal? Mural Orphanage. Bunch of creeps and bullies. All they do is pick on Neff and me. And when I tell one of the teachers, I get sent to detention. But I meet a new friend today. I call him Mr. I. And he lives in the caves where my brother and I were found. He doesn't pick on me. He says he's my friend. And he says he has big plans for us. It appears to be some sort of hollow diary. Vendra must have kept them while she was a resident here. Let's see if we can find some more. Huh. And they're just laying around? That's weird. Ooh, that's so cool. Why well, don't we get the nightmare box? The nightmare box. Because nothing says back off like a posse of resurrected ghouls from the afterlife. Oh. Keep the safety on. Keep the safety on, okay. Let's see this. Let's see this in action. Oh. So it scares the enemies with this? That's so cool. Spooky. Okay, let's go up here. Get the slam down on these guys. <laughs> or not. Oh god. Hitting the wrong way, that's why. Okay. Oh. Can I, so can I spook these guys? It blows them up too, cool. I'm very happy I got that. It's very cool. Oh, and they look different sometimes. This one's more of a skull. So spooky. Okay. What is up here? Were we over there? We were over there. Like I said, I'm being very thorough with levels. Okay, so it looks like we're at the orphanage. Uh-oh. Oh my. Who is this guy? And what, do, what does he want with me? Oh, man. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Ah, oh, he has a cool shield, though. This guy looks really cool. Wow. Look at that. I don't know. Just something with his animations and how he moves around. It's really cool. This is intense. Alright, I'm out of that. Maybe I can scare him. <laughs> Spooky! Level up. Oh, cool. I got the fusion grenade upgrade. Visit a criminal... Okay, okay. I'll go and do that then. Oh, I died, but I killed him. No! Game! <laughs> so it looks like, for whatever reason, that saved it. Like, it rec the guy didn't respawn. Wow, okay, weird. Oh, is this a little merry-go-round? <laughs> around and around. Don't fall off. 
Okay. Oh, and hopscotch, too. <laughs> and death. <laughs> wow. That is very saddening. Where are we going up? No, 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 no. Here. And then up here. Haha, -ha, cool. Yeah, I don't know if there was supposed to be any dialogue after that boss fight, but I hope not. Because I didn't get it. Okay. And go up here. And what is for us up here? Oh, another audio diary. Mr. I says Neff and I are special. He says we come from a different place. I told him I wanted to go there. But he says Neff and I have been in this world too long to survive there now. But maybe... Maybe we can bring them here. I'll need books. Lots of books. Quantum mechanics. Transdimensional tunneling. But... This could work. It sounds like the progs may be connected to the evacuation of the sector. Hmm. Well, that's cool. And interesting. It's over here. Huh. This is a very cool looking place. Let's kill all these little... What are these guys? I guess these are like the equivalent to rats at this point. Like this vermin that live in unpopulated places. during some sort of temporal disruption eons ago. Like, a hiccup in the space-time continuum. With the right equipment, we may be able to amplify the anomalies and bring out Mr. I. Of course, we'll need some room to experiment. Neff says he knows what to do about them. By this time next year, the entire sector will be ours to experiment with. A hiccup in the space-time continuum? She's talking about the Great Clock. Hmm. Okay. Hamster? Water bottles? Are you kidding me? What were they? These poor children. Oh, I'm getting a lot of raritanium now. I'm gonna have to spend a lot of this. Ooh, and a big hole in the wall. Very pleasant. Aesthetically pleasing, really. Wow, look at these drawings. Oh no! So I'm guessing those things aren't ghosts. Yeah, yeah, they're nethers. They look like nethers now. Okay. Hmm. And they're just floating around my head. Stop whispering things to me! Stop it! Oh god. Leave me alone, misters. Take care of you. <laughs> Take care of that. Let me run over there really quick and take care of all these. Because they're annoying and they just spawn way too many. And then once I do, I'll turn around and get everything I need to get. There you go. These things are stinkers. Is that all of them? Health boy. Let's see if I missed anything. Not looking like it, but it's worth checking, I suppose. So I've been really enjoying the game so far. I mean, I didn't really know too much of what to expect, but now that I've actually played it and know what to expect, it's definitely delivering. It's, I don't know, it's just been delivering in all aspects of, you know, what there is to Ratchet and Clank, and that's good. Hmm. Okay, just trying to be extra thorough. It's always worth it, ha <laughs> ha. Maybe we can upgrade some stuff now. Let us just, like, go crazy and, like, upgrade this. What is this? Like, one Rotanium for that. Blast Radius, that's one. I'll take that. And that. And these are all, like, one Rotanium each, so they're not really that hard to get. Okay. Mystery upgrade unlocked. Point blank shots. Oh, whoa, what's it say? Clock the blast. Point black shots contain an added blast of zony energy that sends enemies flying. Oh, so I get these now? Okay. I just get these as a gift for buying all that stuff. That's cool. So I'm guessing the more I level these up, 
the more branches of stuff I can upgrade. Which is very, very awesome. I think now I'll upload or upgrade some of this. Hmm. Rate of fire is always good for a combustor. I've always enjoyed it. I always enjoy the one from Ratchet and Clank, the original Ratchet and Clank, the most. The one that has um, what's it called? The it shoots just like really fast. I don't know. I've always enjoyed that combustor the most. Okay, looks like we have another rift to go through though. Awesome. Let's go and do that. Okay. This is just so cool. I'm so glad they had this. This is like, it bridges off gameplay a good amount. Like, it doesn't do it too much. It doesn't do it too little, though. Hmm, oh jeez. Okay, so I can just keep falling. <laughs> Gotta be careful, though. Don't want to be hit by that. Um, ooh, we gotta dodge the platform still. Whoa! Floating purple stuff. Don't want any of that. Okay, so here's the monster. Punch him, and then run. <laughs> gotta skedaddle! Oh no, not land on that! Ah! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So I wonder, can he go through the platforms? Whoa! Whoa, where am I going? Whoa! No, no, no. Don't leave me alone, really. Oh god. Oh, I got out with one health. Okay. Nice work, pal. And what's in here? Is it ready? They built their own dimension in here? You have to concentrate on who you want it to find. My friend, I got family problems too. Don't be afraid to share your pain. That's a lot of pain. Dimensionator, find the nethers! We're getting closer. We'll have you out soon. Don't be like that. Look how far we've come. It's taken time. But the walls between our worlds are wearing thinner by the day. No. No one knows about planet Silas. The city's been abandoned for decades. We saw to that. 